secret. Okay. We have a couple top secrets. Did a preview on the socials today. Um, these are the boards that we showed off. And, uh, you know, the names are on some of them, so you can see them. Um, Scorpio is the name of the board. We have uh, a cute little uh, RGB glowy scorpion. And then we also have a feather floppy wing. And this is uh, our rabbit friend that has floppies. I had a rabbit named Floppy when I was a kid. And then this is the official logo of the of the of the floppy wing. But yeah. um, what, Lady Ada, are these boards? What do okay. they do? Show All them right. off. Well, starting with the Scorpio, this is an RP twenty forty board, um, and it actually has it does dual duty. There's two things that you might want to do with there this. Um, one, it's you know your standard feather, you know with USB C, and this is a prototype. It's not going to be green in the end, but you know prototypes always come out not black necessarily because it takes a longer and more expensive to get black prototypes um and at the edge where normally would have like an sd card slot or something we have eight io pins that are going through a um, level shifter and this level shifter takes the usb input and gives you um you know five volts to the level shifter so it shifts eight of the gpio in their in consecutive order to the output and the design the idea here is you could use the neopixelate library or any other time you want to like bang out eight bits at a time in parallel, and especially if you want to have them level shifted up to eight volts, good for NeoPixels, but there's probably many other use cases as well. And there's also a little STEMIQT port up here if you want to connect sensors. And then the rest of these IO pins, you can just use as a plain feather. So it's also a, you know, an everyday feather. Okay. And on the back, um, the direction and the voltage, it's, I didn't label them, but one is you can change the voltage output from five volts to three volts, and the other one is you can change um, the direction. And the reason you might want to do that is you can also use this not just as a eight pin output, but eight pin input. So if you want to use this as a logic um, sampler, you can do that as well using PIO, because again, these are going to be, these are uh, eight pins that are in consecutive order. So you can use PIO to read eight bits in a row. So, you know, for, um, you know, you, people do a logic analyzer project, or if you're doing data capture, um, you know, you can uh, use this and then it has a buffer. So even if you have five volt signal in, it would level shift it down to three volts for you. Scorpio. Scorpio. Okay. It's uh, like a happy little scorpion. Yeah. All right. Next up, what do you want to show? Uh, next up, I can show the floppy feather wing because I finally yeah. did that revision. Hop on by. Um, so we've actually done a bunch of work to make uh, uh, floppy interfaces for Arduino and CircuitPython. I just got super distracted with a lot of part shortage stuff. Uh, so getting back to this, so this is, uh, what's really neat is a two by 17 header is exactly uh, one feather wing wide. So this is for your standard floppy IDC connector. Um, I also give you five volts from the USB if you happen to, uh, yeah, you guys recommend it to power a floppy drive from USB. Actually, needs more power than a USB provides. But uh, you know, you might be able to do it with some low power uh, floppy disks. And then on the bottom, we have the level shifters because floppy disks are five volt input output, and so this would um, do the level shifting from the three volt floppy from the three volt floppy. Hold on, focus, focus. This doesn't want to focus. Hold on, it's a little bit too high up or too low down. Beautiful. Um, two level shifters that will um, take the three volts from the floppy, convert it to five volts and back. And then there's also a little five volt, um, little mini boost converter that will let you uh, take the three volt logic level to make sure you have a really good clean five volt logic. And then the right enable pin, um, with the right protect pin, um, we have a switch on it. So if you are doing uh, floppy archiving, you wanna make sure you absolutely never even accidentally write to the floppy drive, you can simply um, short the write enable pin high permanently or low, whichever one, it, I can't remember off the top of my head, uh, by setting the uh, no write versus the write okay direction. So that'll, that'll be good for uh, floppy reading and archiving. So we have the code for this in Arduino and CircuitPython already, this is just uh, yeah, and you're probably wondering, like, why in the world would you want to do anything with floppy disks in that old tech? Well, um, 
one of our friends, Anil, had the original Prince floppy, which is a piece of history. This is when uh, Prince changed name, formerly ours known as Prince, did the symbol. Um, here's an article on Hackaday, but you could see this. We, we had to figure out a way to get this off, and we had an original power book. Um, but that's not going to last forever either. And so there's a lot of things that we want to archive and put somewhere in. This is our history of computing for the last, you know, uh, it'll soon be like 20, 30 years. So um, we wanted to have something for people to be able to read and write floppy disks from all types of computing and uh, hopefully put it in a more permanent place where more people can share and access it. Okay, and then last up, Lady Ada, what's your uh, last uh Okay, so last up, I've got, um, we had all these people making cute little boards with five by five NeoPixels. And I thought, you know, you, I'd make a little add-on that you can um, just kind of attach the back of your uh, Cutie Pie board. And, you know, this, I'm gonna try to do this just by like press and holding it. Yeah? Yeah. You so, did it. Yay, so yeah, you can, you can solder it directly. Yeah. And then, yeah, it doesn't like, yeah, there you go. So if I, if I tilt it, uh, so you get, you know, five by five uh, NeoPixels, so you can have little messages or animations um, displaying. Um, and then you can use it with, you know, your ESP32C2 or uh, S2 or S3 or this Cutie Pie or an RP2040 or whatever, or a Seed Shao board. It's a little add-on, you just plug it to the back. Yeah. Um, and now you can make a little um, glowy, rainbowy friend. Okay, and that is this week's top secret. Lots this week. Okay.